this project, all you're going to need is sturdy construction paper and oil pastels. I am using Expressionist oil pastels from Craypass. I really like how creamy and smooth they are. I'm also gleaning inspiration from this gorgeous photo from ericpiercephotography.com. Begin by creating a thick, dark blue line about a third of the way down your paper. And then you're going to take purple and go above that. Uh, a little bit thicker than the blue was and then you're going to take some lighter blue at the top and bring that down into the purple and now I'm going to take my paper towel around my finger and I'm going to blend those colors together and now I'm just going to layer more colors more of the same colors on top of each other and just blend 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 till it's how I like okay now we're going to do clouds we're going to start by just using white and pulling it through some of the color we've already laid down. Now I'm kind of swirling it, making the puffiness above the clouds. And you can do this whatever shape you want. Now I'm blending across the clouds at the bottom, but I'm leaving them fluffier at the top. And I'm going to add a little more white at the very top of the cloud to emphasize that fluff, if you will. Now I'm going to take all the colors that I used underneath the clouds and I'm going to draw some darker lines at the base of the clouds, kind of where I had blended and up into the fluff a little bit, leaving the tops white. And this will just help those clouds be a little bit more defined. Because if you look at a cloud outside, they're not just like a puff of white, right? They've got depth, there's lighter parts, there's darker parts. And so we're going to put that into our painting. Don't be afraid to use the pastels to push the colors into each other and blend it a little more. Okay, now take some green and go underneath the blue and just fill that right in there. This is kind of an olive green. Now I'm going to take that paper towel on my finger and I'm just going to blend that green right into the background. You can see that I've left some red showing through the grass and I'm going to put more layers on top of it. I've also got red showing through the sunset but I want those to stay. Okay, now I'm taking some gold, not like metallic gold, more like a yellow ochre and I'm taking some lime green and I'm just pushing some of it through the color I've already laid down to give it some extra dimension. Now I'm taking some white and going around the edges of that green a little bit and the corners especially. Pushing and blending those pastels just right into each other. Blending it with my finger, some with the paper towel, some with the actual oil pastel itself. Now I'm putting some darker lines. I'm, I'm doing the blue into the green. Now I'm just going to put some white dots down across the top of the green and I'm going to take my finger and smear those lines up. Okay, now for the tree. I'm taking blue and then I'm going to take black and mix those together and I'm just going to draw out the shape of my tree. I want it to have lots and lots of branches and I want it to look as full as possible. Now I'm going to take all of the colors that I've used in the tree and the sunset and I'm going to press dots all over that tree. This will give the illusion of bright colorful leaves.
Now I'm just gonna add a little more to the grass. I'm going to pull in some darker greens and blues around the edges and corners and blend it a little bit. I'm gonna put more blue, more blue, little white. I want some highlights, I want some shadows. Still leaving a little bit of that red. I'm feeling good about where I am, so I'm going to remove the tape carefully from the borders. You want to be careful so it doesn't tear the paper. Oh, I just decided, you know, I need a little more white right there, a little more of that mist illusion. Then I'm going to go ahead and finish peeling that tape off. Ta-da! Sign my name and voila! Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had fun. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got lots of art tutorials and lots coming. Also, find Mr. Otter on Facebook. And we'll see you later.